Hello guys, today we are going to discuss about a laboratory test called Factor 5 and Leiden mutation, prothrombin time mutation. Use of the test to determine whether you have an inherited gene mutation that increases your risk of developing a venous thromboembolism, blood clot. Factor 5 and prothrombin are proteins that are produced in liver and belong to a group of proteins collectively known as coagulation factors. The coagulation factors are activated in a step-by-step -step process called the coagulation cascade when a blood vessel is injured. The result of the coagulation cascade is formation of a blood clot which creates a barrier at the injury site, protecting it until it heals. The coagulation cascade involves many procoagulant protein such as factor 5 and prothrombin as well as many anticoagulant protein such as activated protein C and protein S which act in a coordinated manner to keep the process of a blood coagulation tightly regulated. Factor 5 leaden is a variant form of the factor 5 protein that arises due to the presence of a common genetic point mutation, a change in one of the nucleotide on the gene that code for the production of factor 5 protein. This altered factor 5 leaden protein activates normally to the participate in stimulating blood coagulation but resist being degraded by the anticoagulant activated protein C and thus remains active for longer than wild type factor 5 protein. This results resistance is increased level of a thrombin in the blood which is associated with a higher risk of venous thromboembolism PTE. The prothrombin is a variant form of prothrombin. The prothrombin G20210A is a variant form of a prothrombin also caused by a common genetic point mutation. PT G20210A is also associated with an increased risk of VTE, venous thromboembolism. This variant doesn't alter the activity or the functional properties of the prothrombin protein, but is responsible for the production of a higher level of a prothrombin in individual carrying the variant. Factor 5 leaden and PT G20210A are independent mutations that are inherited separately and thus they are tested for a separate event. The testing of each is intended to identify whether or not the specific mutation is present and to determine whether the person is heterozygous or homozygous for that mutation. Sample required is blood. Normally it should be negative. That is about factors.